Agusta Westland AW101 helicopter, also known as EH101, or simply Merlin, is considered to be the most powerful, modern, and most expensive medium lift helicopter in the world today, priced up to $21 million per unit. AW101 is chosen by military forces in many countries around the world, designed for both military and civilian purposes. Advanced technology standards and high safety make this helicopter a popular choice in the military and government sectors, but still miss the needs of individual ownership. The line of Augusta Westland AW101 began in the 1970s of the last century, when the whole world was engrossed in the arms race of the Cold War. As an important member of NATO, the British and Italian Navy were now seeking a more modern anti-submarine warfare option to replace their aging Sikorsky S3 seeking platforms to counter deal with advances in Soviet submarine technology. Augusta and Westland have worked together to develop the EH-101 project and set up a new company under common ownership. In 1985, a mock-up helicopter was first introduced at the 1985 Paris Air Show. The new helicopter was designed to be flexible, which could be customized to meet the needs of various civilian or military customers. The EH-101 Merlin first took off in 1987 and was officially put into use by European countries in 1999. In 2000, Westland and Augusta merged to form Augusta Westland, resulting in its current name of the helicopter. The US Air Force has also developed a special type of Marine One helicopter, specifically for carrying the President, called VH-71 Kestrel. Unfortunately, this program was cancelled in 2009 due to financial issues. The VS-71 Kestrel is a modified version of the AW-101 Merlin helicopter. The design of the AW-101 Merlin features the characteristics of a conventional transport helicopter, but hidden within it is the most advanced technology. The fuselage structure is modular and comprises an aluminum lithium alloy designed to be both light and damage resistant. The tubular fuselage with a spacious cabin accommodates up to 24 seated or 45 standing combat troops and their equipment. Alternative loads include a medical team and 16 stretchers and cargo ballast. The fuselage has a volume of 31.91 cubic meters. The ram and cabin floor are fitted with flush tie-down points. It can take a 3 ton slot, allowing it to carry vehicles such as Land Rovers. A cargo hook under the fuselage can carry external loads of 5.4 tons via the use of a semi-automatic cargo release unit. A rescue hoist and a hover trim controller are fitted at the cargo door. An optional cargo winch can be installed near to the rear ramp. The AW101 is typically operated by a crew of three, a pilot, an observer, and an operator. The crew is seated in a cockpit with grid views in all directions. The cockpit is located right behind the small nose. It is accessed through two hinge automobile-style doors for each person. The pilot is able to fly for the majority of a mission in a hands-off mode, enabled by the sophisticated autopilot. All crew members have individual access to management computers and tactical information. The pilot's instrument displays include six full-color high-definition screens and an optional mission display, a digital map, or forward-looking infrared display can also be installed. The AW101 is powered by three Rolls-Royce Turbomeca RTM32201 turbocharged engines. The engines power a five-bladed main rotor, which are constructed from composite materials for lighter overall weight and efficiency. 
the blade design, improves aerodynamic efficiency at the blade tip and reduces the acoustic signature, while increases the AW101's maximum takeoff weight. The helicopter can reach a maximum speed of 309 km per hour, a cruise speed of 278 km per hour, an operating range of 833 km, and a service ceiling of 4,500 meters. It can also be outfitted with a probe for aerial refueling. The AW101 is designed for operating in extreme weather conditions. It is fitted with a de-icing system and rated to operate in temperatures ranging between minus 45 and plus 50 degrees Celsius. The aircraft's control systems allow the AW101 to maintain a stable hover in 74 km per hour crosswinds. An active vibration control system, known as the Active Control of Structural Response System, reduces airframe vibration by up to 80%, which increases crew comfort and minimizes the build-up of stress on the airframe. The AW101 is equipped with a broadcaster search and detection radar, which is capable of 360 degree scanning and can detect small targets as far as 25 nautical miles. As part of the Royal Navy's Merlin HM2 upgrade program, Lockheed Martin implemented a series of improvements to the radar, notably allowing it to track 40 times the number of targets previously capable. Danish EH-101s are fitted with the RTR-1600 search and weather radar. Mark II Royal Navy Merlins are equipped with the AQS-901 anti-submarine system for processing sonographic data from sonar boys to detect and target similar submarines. The AQS-901 was delivered from the system on the earlier Hawker Sydney Nimrod maritime patrol aircraft. Most variants of the AW101 are equipped with cell defense systems, such as trap and flare dispensers, detected infrared countermeasures, ESM, and a laser detection and warning system. British Merlins have been outfitted with protective armor against small arms fire. A side mounted forward looking infrared emission sensor has been fitted to some variants. Two hard points are present in the underside of the airframe, on which the HM1 motor can carry frosting array torpedoes or Mark 11 Mod 3 depth charges. Some customers have chosen to deploy the Mate anti ship missile on the AW101. As of 2011, the Royal Navy is considering equipping their Merlin fleet with an anti surface missile. The Mark 1, Mark 3, and Mark 3A variants can mount general-purpose machine guns in up to five locations in the main cabin, aimed out of both door and window apertures. Augusta Westland has examined the integration of rockets and additional ground attack weapons. Since being put into service in 1999, over 140 AW101 variants have been ordered and more than 120 delivered. Several operators also use ATP-101s in roles such as passenger and VIP transportation. The TAP has been deployed to active combat theaters, such as in support of coalition forces during the Iraq war and the war in Afghanistan. The flexibility makes the ATP-101 the most advanced, versatile, and capable Mantaron helicopter available today. My video of Augusta Westland AW101 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.